it's a little choco wolf here from Tama Talk and Tama Zone, or as you guys may know me on here, I see bones one two three. And so, it's been nine months since my last collection update, and in those nine months, I've probably gotten one two three four, wait one two three four five six seven eight. Okay, I've gotten about eight new things. <laughs> that sounds like nothing. Do you want to know why? I am a poor, helpless, jobless, little 16-year-old girl. And at the time of my video, I was, I just turned 16, so I'll be 17 in a couple months at the end of May. May 28th, hint, hint, you know, <laughs> hint, hint, you know what I mean. No, um, I'm just joking, but. So, I'm going to start off with basically non-virtual pets. So, I'm going to start off with showing you guys this little fella. This is a Tamagotchi IDL or Tamagotchi P's or ID. Um, I think it fits all of the colors except the plus color. Um, odds and ends. I had a brain fart. Odds and ends with love. I think that's how you say her name. Her username from Tama Talk. Um, I think she might be on Tama Zone. I'm not sure. She's also in the Tamagotchi. One of the Tamagotchi groups on Facebook. Um, anyway, she does pouches, she crochets them, and so if you can see, they're very, it's very thick yarn or something, I don't know, I haven't crocheted since elementary school, but I mean, it's very durable, I mean, <clears throat> look at this, it's not some flimsy yarn stuff, it's really, really thick, and it's pretty, it's very snug on your Tamagotchi too, so if you want to buy something from her she charges pretty well i got this fella mainly because it's more detailed for 10 bucks including shipping i mean it's really detailed it's shima shimachi for christ's sake i mean look at this guy he is detailed got the feet got the ears i even asked if she could put a flap on it with a button though now i kind of wish that wasn't there <laughs> anyways that's besides the point i still love it so the next thing I have is Shima Shimachi again. This is an actual Bandai product. It is part of the Gachi Gear line. It is the pouch that you put your connection in there. This thing is not wanting to focus. Focus, my friend. Please, please. No, no, no. Okay. So you put your Tamagotchi in there. If it's mainly connections, um, you could put a vintage in there, except it won't be as snug. You definitely can't put any colors in there. I don't think those will fit. So yeah, there is this fellow. Next, I have this lanyard that came in a lot. The lanyard is in really, really... Oh, now you want to focus. The lanyard is in really, 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 really good condition, and it's used. I mean, if you look at it, it's just like no dirt on it except that little thing that you just see right there. Okay, that little speck right there in front of my thumb by Mimechi's hair curl is like the only dirt on there. But as you can see, this is a mostly a Violet Etchy lanyard, I'm assuming since, you know, there's three pictures of her on it. And there she is again on the other side of the lanyard. Sorry, I just heard something. And I mean, no one's home except my dog, so I was like, is mom home? So anyways, and the lanyard came with this cute little Violet Etchy charm. Um, sorry if, um, what was I going to say now? Oh my god, I'm sorry guys, I just blank out all the time. Sorry if I'm talking too fast, that's not what I was going to say, but sorry if I talk too fast, it's just who I am. I am who I am. So the next thing I got in my collection move out of the way is this lanyard this one is more new I did order this new um I like to use my gachi gear so I don't have it in the packaging um it's this Famalichi Kuchipachi one as you can see here is Kuchipachi um he's a little clip that you can just slide on there as you know I'm showing you um, fortunately it doesn't come with a cute little dangly charm, but it does come with that little clip and it does show the whole Coochie Pachi fam family on the lanyard. So there's that one. I also have another family chi lanyard that I got from a friend a few years back. It's used and pretty dingy, but I still love it nonetheless. As you can see, it has Violet Chi's family on it. From Papa Violet Etchi to Mama Violet Etchi and to whatever that guy is. I don't even know if those are their names. I'm just saying Papa and Mama Violet Etchi because that sounds like something they'd be called. So, enough for that one. 
think that's all the merch. Oh, wait, no, I have this. So a while back, I got um, the Music Star bundle. You know, it was like this. You can't see the whole thing. It was like this and had, whoa, that color, the lighting changed really weird. And it had the Music Star on the bottom, like right here. So it comes with the Tamagotchi movie. I've always been baffled as to why Happy Happy Chi is on the disc when Happy Happy Chi is not in the movie. <laughs> I find that really curious. So, you know, here's the back of the disc. Looks normal. It's a 90 minute movie. So, there you go. It's the first Tamagotchi movie, I believe. Um, and then it comes with three cute little charms. And as you can see, it has this shape right here. It's supposed to look like a guitar when you have it attached. I think this is the glue. Like right here where my thumb is. It got stuck behind my damn shelf and I couldn't get it out. I really hope that's the glue or else I do not know what that is and it's kind of freaking me out. So I'll just set that there. And the next thing I want to show you guys is are my two Tamagos. I, I have four Tamagos now. This one my friend gave to me um, at the beginning of the school year, I believe. I'm, it was either the end of last school year or the beginning of this school year. Um, she said her boyfriend gave her to gave her this and that they broke up and she didn't want it anymore. And I was like, thank God that she's one of those good friends that's not like, I'm going to charge you for it. <sighs> I hate when people do that. Like, I know, I know, I know, but come on. If I'm a good friend, I mean, I don't mind, but, you know, I'd pay, you know, good. I don't know. I'd pay like 10 bucks, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Why am I even talking about this? Anyway, so it's the Wave 2 black one. It came with the Mimechi figure on it. I have the Kuchipachi faceplate on it because I think it looks super cute on the black shell. And then my friend gave me her white Wave 1 Tamago, um, a different friend. And I have the Wave 2 faceplate on it because it just is easier to play with when you have the Wave 2 faceplate on it. And yeah, that's that. <laughs> Next I have, I'll show you guys the, I don't know if I mentioned it, I probably did, the Violet Echi, the first one I showed you, the, not the Family Echi one, but this lanyard, this lanyard came with a lot of 5v3 that I bought on Craigslist for $30. I couldn't help myself because it was 30 bucks, and I was like, dude, that's a pretty good deal for like 5 Tamagotchis, since, you know, I pay usually $15 each for a used connection. So this is one of the first ones. It is yellow with nice cute little stars on it. It really reminds me of the circus. It just looks very circusy to me. And I just love this shell so much. I have yet to run it, but I will possibly run it in the future. The next one I have is this black Japanese ninja-y looking one. I think it's Japanese. These characters could be Chinese to me. I don't read any type of Japanese, though they don't look very familiar. They actually, this one looks like a Japanese character to me, but this one does not. So yeah, this one, the square looking one does, but that's Chinese looking looking one does not. But they're both, they're all of them I got were in very good condition. None of the paint was chipped or scratched off. The screen had no deep scratches or scuffs on it. I mean, of course, there's always going to be like slight scuffing on it, but that's usually very hard for that not to happen on it. Get on it unless you put a screen protector right when you open them. So the next one I got is this purplish, this purple one. It's a light purple color, as you can see. It looks sort of pinkish, but I think it's more of a purple versus how the uh, hearts on it right here, if they would focus, focus on the hearts camera or not. Um, they, oh, there you go. See, they're little angel hearts and those are pink. See how they contrast onto the purplish pink color with the nice yellow buttons. I think it's a really cute, you know, girly V3. I also, oops, I just kind of bumped my recording space. Is that, that's an eraser booger. What is that doing over here? Um, the next one I have is this Tropical V3. It's I've ran this one. I've also ran the Ninja one. It's very, very pretty. Um, I think my mom is home, possibly. That's why my dog is barking. And it's really, really great. And he should stop barking. Um, I did get a fifth one. It's the same as the Blue V3. The Blue V3 butterfly one that was in my last collection video and I traded that for this nano baby gen 2 oh one second 
All right, sorry about that, guys. My mom got home and had to say hi to her. So, like I was saying, I, I traded in the second blue V3 butterflies I had for this Gen 2 Nano Baby. Now, the only thing I'm really super bummed about is that the Nano Baby, this one, um, when I was trying to take the screw out, it was really, really, really hard to get out. So I had to have my dad help me. And I don't know how since the last guy was able to play with it, but it's like over time, just like the screws got really super stripped, right? So I'm trying to take this tape off to show you guys something. And um, like I'm pretty sure that, that it broke off inside. Like, let me know if, I don't know if you guys can see it, but that hole, you know, right between the two batteries, where's my fingers at? Okay. Like, it looks like, you can't really tell in the damn video, but I swear it broke off in there. And it sucks because this hole right here, the screw is like stripped in there too. So I can't even open it up and it's pissing me off. I mean, I might be able to try again but ugh, it was just way 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 too hard so anyways <sighs> at least i'm glad it came with the back because i was thinking that what if it didn't even come with the back they'd be so hard to get the, keep the batteries in it but yeah so there's that the next thing is i don't know if i've ever shown you i was trying to go back through my old videos to see if i've shown you guys any my urtama i got the first Uratama I got. So, this is the first Uratama I got. Um, it's very, very pretty. I probably have shown you guys and I just didn't see it when I was scrolling, when I was, you know, you know, kind of skimming through the videos. So, this is my e my first, I almost said V3, my first Uratama I've ever gotten. Um, I have opened it before, as you can see. I've opened it before. And I love the Uratama. The Uratama and Entama are such great Tamagotchis. And I really recommend them that if, you know, you're collecting, that you try and get these into your collection as soon as possible. The next one I have is a second Uratama. My friend actually bought me this. Um, actually, I, don't, I, I can't remember if I showed you guys this or not. But, um... He, I, I only knew him for like a week and he was like, I'll buy you this Tamagotchi. And I'm like, okay, dude. He, I met him in real life, don't worry. Like, I met him in person, like when I first met him. I didn't meet him online. He wasn't some weird stranger buying me it. So don't worry about some weird stranger danger. He's really cool. He was, he's a really, he's a really cool dude. Um, I talked to him now and then. And I just really love that he bought me this, you know. It was like 40 effing bucks. There's no, I didn't have money. And you know. I'm the type of person that if you're gonna, if you're gonna, you know, say, oh, I'll buy that, I'm taking up your offer. I'm not gonna be like, oh, no, no, it's, it's okay. No, 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 no. That is not me. Um, my birthday is May 28th, so I'll be 17 soon. Might have mentioned that in, like, the last part, but I lose, I forget things so fast. Anyway, so the last thing I have is this dinosaur watch pet. Um, as you can see here, to hold my camera since... Or I can change it lengthwise, but that'd be awkward. So here is this fellow. He's a watch pet. I bought this thing for about ten dollars, and it was new. But you're wondering if it was new. Why the hell is this part of the watch off to the side? Well, you see, that's what I was wondering. I don't know if it was just a technical, like if it broke during shipment, or if it was broken the whole time. The pet itself works, but that was just disconnected. So. My my question is, was it really new? But like I've tried to open this in several different spots and nothing has happened. I can open it perfectly fine. I mean I, I opened it right here. I cut it open so I could open it and I just slid it out. But I don't understand other than that how it could be broken. So I was actually trying to break the top of it off but I couldn't, so yeah, I'm just gonna have this awkward little watch pet for the rest of my life. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I do have that new Tamagotchi. It's not new, but it's new for me, and it, you know, it is new, but it's not like it just came out, you know? It came out, I'll give you a hint, 
It came out a couple years ago. It's not in my collection, obviously. Um, it's super pretty. So I'll be doing an unboxing of that when I get it, even though it's not new. But who cares? Because <laughs> it's new to me and I want to unbox it. So stick around to watch that. And I'm really sorry for this video being so dang long. But yeah, thanks for watching.